Hey guys, uh, this is Ali and uh, welcome to another tutorial for Cinema 4D and uh, I'm gonna show you how I create uh, the effect that you see in my latest uh, intro which is the tearing effect and uh, before I start I just want to thank uh, Yadr for showing us uh, this technique and how to create it and I asked him if it's uh, alright if I recreate this tutorial for my channel and he said sure as long I give him a credit so Definitely, I'll leave a link in the description. Go check his uh, channel and Vimeo and his tutorials. He's really amazing with Espresso. You won't believe it. he's the best guy I've seen with Espresso. And there's another one actually. There's two, him and another guy. They are like beasts with Espresso. Like they can make I don't know anything they want with Espresso basically. But yeah, check their channel out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for both of their channel. Uh, plus, I'll leave a uh, a link to this tutorial, uh, his tutorial also, so if you guys want to go check it out, but let me tell you from now, there's no sound, so he's not explaining, but yeah, let's jump ahead to Cinema 4D, alright, so let's create, uh, you can you can use this technique on any object, any model, whatever you want, uh, you can use this primitive object, you can use a text object also, I, this is how I tested it, on, on a text object, and works perfect, looks awesome, uh, so let's just use a text object, I guess. Uh, let me change the text. Let's say, let's use A for now. And let's change the font. And I'm going to use uh, Prince of Persia font, which is one of my favorite font, actually. I really like this font. It's just the design of it, the look of it. It looks pretty awesome. And uh, plus, I used it in my latest uh, intro. And let's give it some depth, say it to 80. And let's go to caps. And the secret of this, or the key of this, is to have as much segment as you can. So as much segment you have, better looks you'll get. And, you know, you can... I use these settings so you can, you know, put the same numbers that I put. But you can, you know, find your own numbers, I guess. Uh, so for the step, we're gonna put a seven and radius for the, uh, we're gonna put a three. Same thing for the end, seven and three. And other thing you wanna change is the type. Uh, we're gonna change it from dungan to quadrangle and check grid. And just change the width to one. And if I go closer, you will see it's pretty dense. Looks completely white from here. We're not done yet. Still need more segment uh, for the side. Uh, if I go to the side, you can see there's not enough segment over here. But yeah, let's go to object and change the subdivision to 30. And change the intermediate point to subdivision. And now if we take a look, now that looks pretty good. But also we need a bit more, I guess. It really depends on your machine, so don't go crazy with these values. Um, my computer can handle a lot of segments, so it really depends on your machine. You don't really need to go crazy like me. But yeah, let's make it editable and right-click, uh, select children, right-click, make it editable. And again, right-click, select children, right-click, connect and delete. And there is a small script I have. I completely forgot where the heck I found it. Uh, but this is the script. Basically, it makes everything for you editable. Uh, text object, just want to click. And it does everything for you. I don't know if you guys are uh, interested in having it. Just let me know. I will leave a link in the description if you guys uh, want it. Alright, so let's go to the polygon mode and select our text. And if you can see, it's pretty dense. So what we not uh, what we want to do now is select random polygons, basically just random polygons, um, like maybe like this, maybe like so, and maybe a little bit on the top. Uh, I don't know for some reason it looks good on the edges, so. Try to select more on the edges more than actual uh, middle of the of the object just just to make it looks pretty good all right trying to 
fill these gaps as you can see all right and just randomly you don't really have to be accurate oh, and I did something wrong that looks good a little bit on the back ah damn it all right just get something on the top all right that looks good you know you can be more uh, you know you can customize it the way you want all right that looks good so we have selected this so right click and just click disconnect and click OK now we're gonna go to our deformers and select a jiggle deformer bam in your face and let's change this setting and I'm gonna use the same setting I, uh, I learned from uh, Yadr but you guys need to understand that every time you change something of these values you will get different looks you don't really have to follow exactly the same but if you want you can do it you know no one holding you uh, so let's change the stiffness to one and the tractal 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 to two I guess I'm not really sure and the drag force let's set it to zero and let's open advance and change the spring to zero and uh, a routine um, rotations uh, and rotations I don't know can't really spell it change it to 20 and I guess you get to go let's uh, go to the protocols or uh, a meter force whatever TP force and let's add the uh, tractor and turbulence and gravity let's change the gravity setting to 100 and let's go to turbulence and change the strength to 50 and the scale to 100 let's go to the tractor and let's change the strength to minus 500 and the speed limit to 2000 Bam. near face select the jiggle and go to force let's lock this for a second select all of your force and just drag it in the force area over here Bam. we're good to go Let's add uh, the jiggle a child of the text or the object that we want to deform or tear and let's hit play. Bam! Here we go, here we have the tearing. Now you can see the uh, the explosion, it looks like a kind of explosion and it happened at the bottom. Now if we change the uh, tractor place, say if I set it to the middle, uh, say about here, now the explosion going to happen in the middle as you can see pretty cool effect really amazing uh, technique by the other amazing stuff uh, one thing about the tractor now it's set to minus 500 which means it's gonna go outside but if you want it to go inside which is like a black hole effect it's gonna like basically suck in everything in a circle for you as you can see here you get a pretty interesting look. That's what I that's what I meant. You know, if you change any of these values, you'll get a new look. So yeah, have a play. See what you create. You're gonna create. And if you make something, leave a video respond. And again, I want to thank Siada for this technique. Really helpful technique. Uh, plus, yeah, one more thing before I end this tutorial. Uh, if you see it's a bit heavy on your computer or it's not moving fast in the editor view. You want to be. You want to cache your uh, your simulation over here, and basically, it's gonna make it easier for you to play in the editor view. Plus, you can do a slow motion effect using the scale over here, and uh, trust me, it goes really fast. It doesn't take that much, and plus, you can offset uh, the timeline or the time of the. Um, tearing so you can tell it at frame 30 I want the the tearing to happen this is only how uh, you can do when you cache your sim but yeah anyway so this is the tutorial this is how I created the, the look that you saw in the intro and if you didn't see the intro I'll leave a link in the description so you can you guys you can go and check it out
put you in your mind there is a lot of possibilities for this uh, technique and yep that's about it hope you like this tutorial and again thank you Yadr and don't forget to go and check his channel peace